In this video we're going to solve, we're going to simplify some equations down just using the log laws. So making a start on this one, we've been asked to evaluate and the first time through I'd be looking for the third log law, the one that involves the powers. Um, notice that all the bases are exactly the same on the logs, so that's no drama. So this becomes the log of um, 6 squared to the base 3 plus the log of 8 base 3 subtract. Now I won't do that. I, I will write that as log 2 to the power of 5. So this becomes... We can combine those using the product rule and the quotient rule. So we'll be multiplying these two and then dividing by the third one. So it becomes log base 3 of 36 times 8 divided by 2 to the power of 5, which is 32. Now simplifying that down, uh, 8 goes into 8 once and into 32 4 times and then 4 goes into 4 once and 4 nines at 36. So that ends up as the log of 9, base 3, and that's 2. Or if we're not sure about that, um, that's the log of 3 squared, and then the 2 can come down in front. Log 3, base 3 is 1, so you get the answer 2. Okay, going on to the next one. Um, very common type of question, write this as a single log term uh, and it's an important concept for the, in the next video when you do equations. So first thing is go and get um, all our uh, coefficients, the numbers in front and, exp and express them as powers. So this is log of y cubed, subtract the log of z to the power of a half. Now remember, anything raised to the power of a half is the same as the square root. So these can now be combined. All the bases are the same. So it allows us to use the log laws, the first and second one. So it's going to be x times y cubed divided by, and I'll write it as the square root of z. And then this last question is a little bit trickier. It says we've basically got to unpack it and write it as individual logs. So you can see that this is a, a product here. We've got 8 times a squared times b. So we can use that product rule in reverse to take it back to individual terms. So this will be the log, and it's base 2 of 8 plus the log of a squared, base 2, plus the log of b, base 2. Now, looking at that, um, this log of 8, base 2, can be tidied up because we know that 8 is 2 cubed. And then the next step is to put that 3 down in front. On the second one, this 2 can come down in front using the power rule, so it's going to be 2 log a, base 2, plus log b, base 2, that's OK as it is. So this second one, the 3 comes down in front, then you've got log 2, base 2, which is just 1, so that simplifies to 3, plus 2 log a, base 2, plus log b, base 2. And that's it.